uh, chair standing by on the line. Good morning, Senator. Hi, good morning, Green. Good morning, Chris. Uh, Hi. I, I know you had an announcement to make uh, this morning, so wh what's the announcement? Yes, you know, we were anticipating to have an uh, uh, informational hearing on the update of face-to-face -face, um, yeah. impacts, uh, especially within the pandemic and the online learning uh, implementation, and also to address the new SOP for the counselors this evening. Um, but I spoke with the superintendent uh, the day before yesterday, and, you know, he's asking for a little more time. And the reason why is that we are having, GDOE is having an input session tomorrow um, at 9 a.m., and parents can uh, log into the Zoom and provide GDOE with input. And so they want to have these concerns and inputs on the, um, on the record so that we can move forward and see which next action they're going to take. I know there's a concern in the community for the rise in the COVID cases, but also there are some children now that are somehow getting, um, that are having symptoms and signs of COVID. So, uh, so we're just going to postpone it. And uh, after the parent meeting, the board and the, we're going to give GDOE and the board to discuss what the next steps they're going to take as far as how they're going to move forward with the school, school year. Senator, as uh, the committee chair on education, have you been receiving phone calls from concerned parents? Um, and if so, what are, what are they uh, saying to you? Yes, we've been actually receiving a lot of feedback. And so this, this was actually uh, what we wanted to do was, this was another postponement, right? So this hearing was, was a postponement from a previous hearing. Um, you know, and the parents are just concerned that, uh, you know, how are we... Um, how, how is the how is GDOE implementing the uh, requirements from DPHSS? Um, I understand that DPHSS has walked the school grounds, and so uh, the concern, the main concern, is can they go back to online online learning for the first semester? And so uh, that that's one of the primary concerns, um, and um, that's that's basically it. Is is you know they're worried that their their child is going to uh, contract COVID. Uh, some parents have already students or children showing signs and symptoms of COVID. So this is something that they're addressing right away. And um, the parents can call in tomorrow or Zoom in tomorrow um, at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. What's your personal feelings though? on it when you see the numbers uh, yeah. continuing mm -hmm. to, to rise. And I mean, the Senator, there's also like stateside, uh, the pediatric hospitalizations are, they're, I mean, it's alarming how much they're climbing. Um, we're, we're hearing from public health, uh, she's one of the high up nurses, Margarita Gay, that there are a lot of symptomatic kids turning up to be tested. We heard from Lillian Posadas yesterday that there are sick kids going through the ER, uh, testing positive and then going home for uh, home care. So it kind of seems like we're teetering on an edge of some sort. What are your thoughts on that, Senator? Yeah, I, th I think at, at, at some point, you know, the decision has to be made, right? Uh, how, how do we protect our children, but how do we continue schooling? Um, if it was my child, I would have them do online learning. Mm -hmm. uh, that is my pers at least for like the first quarter or two. And then, uh, you know, as things start to as soon as we get a handle on the impact of how COVID affects the children, then I would be more comfortable sending my child to school. Yeah. Wow. Well, but that option's, uh, right. yeah. It's difficult, right? Because yeah. now um, some people don't have the flexibility to stay at home and care for their child. They need yeah. to go to work. Yeah. And so these are the challenges that they have to balance, right? And so, um, so yes. Um, yeah, sounds like a tough one, Senator. Yes. Well, we'll look... So, we're going to give GDOE a little bit more time to, to discern, and then, of course, because tomorrow they're having this input session for mm -hmm. all, all parents, all stakeholders to call in, um, and, and then we'll see how they move forward with it. Right. All right. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks, Senator. Have a good day. You have a you good too. weekend. Be safe. Thank you. Bye. That's the, okay. Right. Right. I think we posted the Zoom invite. It's it's in the comments uh, on our stream. That uh, virtual input session it's being held over Zoom, but you can watch the live stream on GDOE's Facebook page. It's at nine o'clock in the morning, so that's your opportunity. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, to join uh, that Zoom uh, input session or also post your comments uh, again. As I said, 
on Facebook. Right. And we do have some uh, comments here. Uh, Melissa comments in, we are putting too much pressure on our children. They should be concentrating on doing good in school, making good grades. Instead, they're worried about washing hands, staying safe, worrying about the virus. Well, that's the reality that we're living in now, Mm. uh, Melissa. Uh, Mary Jane uh, comments, why are parents being threatened with truancy? Good question there. Um, And, you know, Senator Nelson uh, saying in her personal opinion, she would want online learning to be more of an option. And I don't know, is that something that they're uh, looking at? There's obviously some high level planning going on uh, at the Department of uh, Education. And, uh, you know, judging from what the superintendent has said, they want to gather all this input from everybody who's got to say and then figure out uh, the way forward. But we're anticipating some type of restrictions or limitations to be announced. We were told they were going to, going to be announced shortly on Wednesday.